the tricky thing for Superman in this is that he was always prepared for the world to react to him with fear. His father warned him off about that at a very young age, and he's carried that with him, so he was prepared for that. But he wasn't prepared for people to accuse him of evil and to point the finger at him and make him the bad guy, despite the fact that he's hurting because he can't save everyone. And then on top of that, he doesn't even know he's fighting anyone until it's the very last moment, and he's in a very tricky, tricky position. And in that lies a bit of interesting storytelling. When, when it comes to, uh, do you like people relating you to Superman or, or not necessarily? I mean, you as an individual. Why wouldn't I? It's <laughs> Superman. Yes, I love it. It's awesome. But do you think it brings limitations if you want to do other things? No, that's you've done down, other that's things. That's down to me. If if I if I can't do the acting to make people believe I can do other stuff, that's my fault. Yeah, but you you don't have that problem, right? You do other things. Uh, I do do other things. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, what was the impact of being part of the Tudors in your career? I would say. The Tudors was a big stepping stone for me. It was the first project which really raised awareness for me with American audiences. And from that, I think I was a viable person to cast in roles in feature films as an adult. What uh, brought you into acting? I know you're one of the few people born in Jersey, one of the islands, right? Yes. How many are there? Four? No. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's quite a few right now, and I'm sure over the years there's, there's probably yeah. more than four. <laughs> But it's definitely a limited number. Uh, what got me into acting, I, I just enjoyed storytelling, I think. And I happened to find a bit of solace on stage in boarding school. And then the opportunity was laid out in front of me and, and I, I picked that ball up and ran with it. With uh, films like, like this, there's a big investment. Yep. Do you have the concern of box office or, or you, after you're done, you're done? There's always a concern for box office because this is such a big picture. And as in, I don't mean this movie in, is a big picture. There is a big picture to apply to. And I really want to tell the full story of Superman. There's a complexity to the character which has only, we've only just scratched the surface. And there's a lot to be done. So if the box office on this is fantastic, then there is a whole world opened up, a whole world of potential and possibility for me to be able to continue telling the Superman story and really dive into the psychology and complexity of the character. It's like a two personality, personalities kind of story, you know? I wouldn't or say it's two personalities. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's a common misconception, uh, or certainly it's an opinion. I, for me personally, it's, it's not a duality of, of personality. It is, there is a, a being who I like to refer to as Kal-El, who has fronts that he puts on. There is the Superman and there is the Clark Kent. And I, there's so much to be told about the psychology of a being who has all these powers and yet can't save everyone, and he's got this incredible mind. Once he really start, once you really start to play with that story and that idea, what would you do if you're in that position? How would you save the world? To what lengths would you go? What things would you and would not do? And it's a position which none of us really know because we don't have these powers which would be fascinating to explore. And as I say, it's not necessarily, for me, it's not about duality of personality. It's about what you do when you're given everything. How do you go about saving the world in the long run? And are you right or are you wrong? 